Now, I'll tell you in the beginning that you can see Positano in a single day. Positano, unless you know a lot of the locals and you have friends there, that's not a place to spend an entire week. Even if you're using Positano as a base to go and see other parts of the Amalfi Coast, spending a week there might be too long. But that's also encouraging because you can see one of the most beautiful cities in a single day and knowing that two nights and three days there is enough frees you up to go and see other parts of Italy. Number one, have food and drinks at Hotel Marincanto. I can't say enough good things about it. The staff were extremely helpful and the food and drinks were 10 out of 10. This was the hotel room we stayed in. Now beneath those canopies is the hotel restaurant. Now on that platform right there, a lot of people get married there. And during our time at Positano, we saw two or three weddings take place. That's the hotel swimming pool. And this is a cafe on the beach and I'll leave the name for the cafe in the body of the video. Now the reason why I did a pan of the restaurant to show the customers is I'm pretty sure that's Santa Claus. And if you've ever wanted to know where Santa Claus goes during the off season, when he's not having to be at the North Pole, he obviously vacays in Positano. These are simple street scenes that I found really charming and thought that I would include them in the video. People having a good time on a boat is always fun to watch, especially when there's three boats. And we were told in Positano and Capri that a lot of famous people will just pull their boat into the marina and not actually get out on the island. That way they can enjoy the Amalfi Coast's beauty and not be bothered by people. I found the paintings by the locals to be pretty impressive, especially this painting of the young man. I'd never seen a painting where the artist had actually texturized the hands. If you had reached out and touched the hand, it actually lifted off the painting. We met these two young women on the ferry from Capri to Positano, and we got along with them really well. The lady in pink on the left was in sales, and the lady on the right was actually an HR leader at NASA and helped select the astronauts. But we had a really good time with them, and they took our photo at the end of the dinner. Now, there's even a smaller town actually called Amalfi. And according to the locals, the reason why Positano became more famous than the town of Amalfi, even though Amalfi had been there longer, was because of the American soldiers being stationed in Positano in World War II. And when they came home, they told their families about Positano and American tourism began. So number two, go to Amalfi Town. Megan and I decided to get some gelato in front of this magnificent church. And why not take a photo while you're there? In the town of Amalfi, we sat down for drinks. And I found the colors of our surroundings and our drinks to be so unique. I just wanted to include it in the video. While I said that you can see Positano in two days, you can see Amalfi in a day for sure. And I love little unique homes like this everywhere I go. Here they've converted a watchtower into somebody's house. Could you imagine sitting up there every single morning and every single evening and having breakfast and supper and watching the sunrises and the sunsets? They even have a little balcony hanging over the beach. And on the other side, a fire escape. Now when we left Amalfi and went back to Positano, we ate at this restaurant. And the only thing that I would say is Megan and I, while we were in Positano, we looked for a place where we could take some cooking classes. And this restaurant offered those, but we actually ran out of time and we couldn't do it. But I would say if you're looking for a good restaurant on the beach of Positano that also offers a cooking class, you should eat here. And number three, eat at Boca. 
The food was great and we had wonderful conversations with the diners beside us. I can't say enough good things about this restaurant, Hotel Marincanto, and the entire town of Positano. And here we are on our last night and we bid you farewell. If you know someone that could find this video useful or enjoyable, please send it to them. Also like the video and subscribe for more travel videos in the future.